Today I'll be giving you five amazing facts about the adorable Shih Tzu. This dog has a strong history from the monks in Tibet to emperors in China and we'll look at how it became one of the most popular dogs to have across households in the UK. Welcome back to the Fenrir Shih Tzu Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss a future upload. So then, let's get into today's video where we'll be looking at five amazing facts about the Shih Tzu. So, let's begin with fact one. The Shih Tzu's appearance. It famously boasts a luxurious silky coat and they have what is called a chrysanthemum face as the hair grows in every direction, like the flower the chrysanthemum. Fairly cute if you ask me. They're known for their distinct coat and have a long, dense coat and a moderate undercoat. If the length of the coat is too long, it will unsurprisingly interfere with their movement and it also shouldn't get in the way of their face, which is why you may very well be used to seeing a cute top knot on some of these dogs. They come in just about every colour, however the only colour that isn't accepted is the ever controversial colour merle. This merle gene is known to cause a number of health problems including blindness and deafness and they will have a higher risk of getting skin cancer. This is why any dog who would be recognised with the mill gene is sadly not a registered breed in many countries. Looking at fact number two, it's all about their grooming needs. It should be no surprise that the Shih Tzu is high maintenance with a coat as luscious as theirs and you'll want to keep it looking sleek and in the best condition you can. You should be prepared to brush the dog on a daily basis as their coat can mat very easily but not too thoroughly as it can damage their hair. Their top knot will need to be done every day and you should wash their face every day as food can get caught on the face if it's left there. This can lead to infections. As we mentioned before, the length of the coat can affect their movement as well as their sight. It's advised that the Shih Tzu have their coats trimmed every four to six weeks at professional groomers and special attention should be taken to the hair on the face around the eyes and ears to prevent any painful infections. Diving into fact number three with a history lesson and we're looking at how the Shih Tzu became one of the most popular dogs in the world. They originate from Tibet and were highly prized for thousands of years by monks there as they were known to be loyal trustworthy companions and brilliant watchdogs. They were kept in monasteries from time to time. The dogs which were called Tibetan lion dogs quite a cool name if you ask me, was sent to the Chinese emperors as gifts and kept in the imperial palace. Their name Shih Tzu is a Mandarin name and it means little lion in English. The reasons they're recognised as originating from China over Tibet is because of the Dowager Empress at the time, who was one of their biggest fans. She established a successful breeding programme. The Shih Tzu was recognised as a breed in its own right by the Kennel Club in 1949 and has skyrocketed in popularity in homes all around the world. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. At fact four, we're getting to know this dog on a personal level. The Shih Tzu is a very confident and outgoing dog and is very much an extrovert. They have and will always remain central to a family home as they love being involved with everything and they thrive on time with their owners and other people they know well. They're a very intelligent dog, so they're eager to please their owners and willing to do anything to be on a good side of them, and they love being the centre of attention. They aren't very good at being left on their own for long periods of time. So if you are someone who won't be in the home a lot and is not possible for you to take your dog with you, then this dog should not be considered getting. It is rare for them to show aggression to people they don't know, but they can be wary of strangers, so make sure you keep a distance whilst their suspicions are high. And finally, at fact five, I'll be giving you some top healthcare plan advice. 
Unfortunately, like with all dogs, some come with healthcare problems. The Shih Tzu life expectancy is anywhere from 10 to 16 years, and it's generally said that they can enjoy a long and happy life if their daily needs are taken care of. There are some hereditary issues to be aware of. Should one of these dogs enter your home on a more permanent basis, the main one to look out for is that they are a brachycephalic breed, which is when a dog with a flatter face can suffer from breathing problems as well as be more susceptible to eye injuries. All of those are very easy to be treated if they're protected from exercising in warmer weather and any problem when the eye is looked at and treated straight away. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and find it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and make sure you never miss a future video about our four-legged best friends. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Shih Tzu channel.